Alright, this is the boat to Santorini from Rocco. Pro tip, get your ticket from the Sea Jets office the day before. You can get there early if you want to get a seat over there by a window. We've arrived in Santorini and now I guess they're going up to the dock. In the meantime, we all collect together and inhale fumes. So we have a car that was waiting for us, which is totally the way to do it because it's sort of chaos when you get out. And now for the crazy drive up the hill from the port. Enjoy. It wastes no time. That's our boat. It's already gone. We have the movement on for five minutes. For three minutes? Yeah. So this is Red Beach, aptly named because of the red sand and red mountains. And then way further over is Black Beach because of the black sand and black mountains. And in between the two is White Beach, which you're probably thinking white sand, white mountains, but you're wrong. It's because that beach likes cold play. We're gonna try to make it to the top of this thing before sunset. Our room is behind us. It's a little bit like climbing Camelback Mountain in Phoenix where I grew up in terms of difficulty, which is to say, it's not very difficult, just a lot of steps. All right, so hiking to the top of that was absolutely worth it. You could see 360 degrees all around the town we're staying in up there. You can see Ia all the way in the distance. You could see Firo over there all the way into the Caldra. And I kept thinking, if you were like a backpacker on a budget, that's where I would just bring a tent and camp. It would cost you nothing. You'd have the best view in the world, see all the stars at night, and you could still enjoy Santorini. That's where I would be if I was a backpacker. Sleeping bag, tent. I'm pretty sure it's legal. Who's going to stop you?